Welcome back to Newsroom. I'm Chilla Smith. This is your Middle East U.S. Entertainment News here on YouTube. Hi, air on Fridays. I bring you the latest on reforms and economics of Iraq based on reports put out by the Middle East news media outlets. I do this weekly review and it's based off my interests. Thank you everyone for joining me. This week's news is going to be just a little different. I have a few of appointments to attend to today, so we'll be in and out pretty quickly. Last week, we talked about banking investments and maritime trade, stock exchange, drone attacks, the Persian Murga reforms, and oil contracts. Let's take a look at this week's headlines. Iraqi company Muhaj in Baghdad has awarded Italy's Danili the contract to build a new rolling mill plant for rebar productions in Alhela, Iraq. The plant will use Danili's high-speed rolling technology and a six-pass fast finishing block. The mill will use multi-drive technology and Danili more guard shamar bar guiding system for high-speed rolling and superior surface finish. The investment aims to become a key player in Iraq's TMT bar market. And UK-based company secures a multi-million dollar Iraq order. UK-based Acoustic Data has secured a multi-million dollar order for a major Iraqi oil field service company to deploy its sonic gauge wireless monitoring system for real-time data acquisition for a multi-year period. Moving right along, Iraqi's Minister of Oil, Hayan Abdulghani, emphasizes the country's commitment to building a fleet of oil tankers, praising the Norwegian company Bat Service Mendel's role in constructing the Summers and Accard tankers and discussing ways to improve cooperation with the national carrier. And let's take a look at the Iraqi stock market report. It provides an in-depth analyst of the country's stock market performance. Two cross transactions occurred on 6.0 BN shares of the Al Mista shares Islamic Bank, the BMUI, on February 4th and 7th, valued at IQD 6.0 BN. Al Mansour Bank, the BMNS, invites shareholders to subscribe on 40 BN shares starting February 4th, increasing the capital to IQD 300.0 BN through 16% rights issues and a 4% bonus issue. The ISX requested Iraqi data processing and marketing to explain the higher price on February 5th and 7th. Stocks that were suspended or will be suspended for trading, including the Economy Bank, the BEFI, National Company for Tourism Investment, HNTI, and the LYM for Financial Investments, the VWIF. Okay, in our next report, the markets are increasingly examining the effects of the escalation tension in the Middle East. As you can see to the charts to the side of me, the Rabi Security U.S. Dollar Equity Index, the RSISX USD Index, rose 8.8% in February, despite fears of the wider Middle East conflict. The U.S. and the U.K. military actions in the Red Sea intensified in February following the U.S. strikes on targets in Syria and Iraq, Iraqi stock and currency markets, as well as the oil markets are discussing these fears due to the U.S. response, Iran distancing from attack and the suspension of attacks on the U.S. bases in Iraq. The RSISX USD index declined during the conflict first month was a pullback from a strong full month pullback from a strong four month run with an index up to 20.9% from before the conflict to February 5th. 
Now, the Central Bank of Iraq's recent procedural requirements for the U.S. dollar for cross-border transactions led to a dollar supply demand mismatch, causing currency upheaval. The parallel market prices of the Iraqi dinar versus the dollar increased, leading to a delta between the exchange rate and the dollar. The delta narrowed to 16.3% by February 5th, indicating no signs of windling Middle East conflict or dollar ordering. Now, taking a look at this next chart here, the oil market expectations are currently in the middle of range with supply fears following the invasion of the Ukraine and those that end of 2021. The Iraqi liquidity market is in the early stages of emerging from the seven-year bear market with the RSIS USD index down 66.6% despite stellar returns in 2023 and a strong start to the 2024 it is a 19.7% below all-time high in early 2014. Now, risks to the Iraqi story remain due to its history of conflict, extreme leverage in the volatile oil prices, and the risk of the wider Middle East conflict. Okay, we're going to keep moving right along here. Attacks on Iraqi sovereignty. Speaking about all this conflict in the Middle East, the House of Representatives have scheduled a special derivative session for this Saturday to address the attacks on Iraqi sovereignty. And make sure you smash the like button if you are liking our content today and you're always, always, always welcome to leave us a super chat in the comment section below. Let's talk about the World Bank in Iraq. So the World Bank has ranked Iraq's electronic payment system infrastructure among the top in the region. Iraqi Central Bank Governor Ali Mosin Alalak met with the World Bank delegations led by the director Richard uh, Abdul Noor to discuss reform programs for financial sector stability. The meeting focused on electronic payment projects, financial inclusion, and reforms programs. The World Bank also supported the establishment of the Rayeda Bank and the Bank for Financing Small Projects in Iraq. The delegation praised the Central Bank of Iraq's financial transfer facilitations and praised its electronic payment and software system. And reviewing the U.S. Treasury sanctions, Iraq is urging the U.S. Treasury to reconsider its sanctions on several banks. The Iraqi Foreign Ministry has called on the U.S. Treasury to reconsider sanctions imposed on some civil banks. The Ministry of uh, foreign Affairs received a call from the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, who questioned the reasons behind the sanctions. Blinken emphasized the importance of these banks and financial ration cards and food baskets for Iraqi families. He called for review of the U.S. Treasury decisions and expressions Iraq's desire to build partnerships with friendly countries. Okay, we'll do a few more articles here. Debt settlement. Iran has announced the debt settlement of the Islamic Development Bank in cooperation with Iraq. Iran has settled its $300 million debt to the Islamic Development Bank, primarily due to the export revenues to Iraq. The majority of the direct investment comes from Russia, the UAE, China, Turkey, Iraq, India, Oman, and other countries. Iran is a major shareholder of the Islamic Development Bank and negotiations for new loans begin with the settlement of outstanding debt. Twelve semi-completed projects in Iran has been reactivated and they will be implemented, will resume. Iran's debt to the Bank of Japan and the World Bank have also been rapid. Speaking about some of these banks, the Middle East tension, reminding you that eight Iraqi banks were banned from transactions in the U.S. dollar. As we mentioned earlier, Iraq has banned eight local commercial banks from making U.S. dollar transactions, preventing them from participating in the central bank's daily dollar auctions. They are trying to prevent corruption. And the central bank has introduced new mechanisms where only genuine travelers will receive dollars. The central bank's governor, Ali Alawak, has announced the new 
new mechanisms for travelers to obtain the dollar, citing significant decreases in inflation since 2023. He confirms that all demands for the dollar can be met, stating that the bank is comfortable position to respond to requests, has had significant reserves. Ali al has stated that while the central bank is open for selling dollars, certain groups are avoiding foreign currency trading to avoid taxes, customs, and illegal activity. And our last article of the day, the oil exports for 2023, 2024, and 2025, and also about the federal budget for 2024. Let's get into it. The budget and the reality of Iraq's oil exports for 2023 says that Iraq's 2023 federal budget, which covers the three year for 23 through 25, faced systematic failure due to 32.4% facial deficit. The budget was influenced by dramatic events like the earthquake and the ICC ruling, which we are not properly accommodated in the budget law. The yearly balance sheet shows diverging oil exports, oil prices and revenues from the state budget. Iraq has failed to compensate for those closures of the oil exports through Turkey and failed to wrap the high oil price environments. Lessons should be learned for 2024 federal budget and participation for the Iraqi Turkey oil pipeline agreement renewal. And you guys have been watching Newsroom Weekly Review. I'm Chella Smith with your Middle East U.S. Entertainment News on reforms and economics of Iraq. I bring you the latest in our news without having to keep up with all the different outlets. I'm here on YouTube every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn those notification bells on. If you like my content, you can give me a thumbs up. If you really like my content, you can always see a super chat or a super thanks in the comment section below. Thank you guys for bearing with me today. I have a few appointments, so I got to get out of here early. Again, thank you for being a subscriber and thank you for visiting Newsroom Telesmith for your trusted our news. I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Make sure you join us Fridays, 4 p.m. with Newsroom Updates with Chelsea Smith Entertainment.